Hi, and thank you for joining us. Um, today I'm going to be discussing some of the new features of the IES SketchUp plugin. Um, you can see the IES plugin up here. It's a toolbar that's going to fit just like any of your other toolbars directly inside of SketchUp um, and you'll work with it in that interface. You can download the toolbar from our website at IESVE.com and if you just navigate to the download center um, you'll be able to find instructions on how to access it there. Um, the two types of things I'm going to talk about first are thin walled modeling versus thick walled modeling. Um, what thin wall modeling is and what we're doing when we're doing any type of geometry creation in SketchUp is we're going to use this for some type of building performance analysis if we're bringing it into VE um, or using it with the toolkit. So we have to think about how we're modeling it and there are some specific things that you have to address for analysis um, and it's really based on the principles of how you model and these are really the two different ways that you can choose to do it. So thin walled modeling um, it's just going to have a singular plane representing our exterior wall. Um, meaning that, very simple model, this would probably be something you, that you would start if you were drawing directly from scratch in SketchUp. There would be no reason to create that thick walled exterior. Um, the way that you're going to create windows is by using your materials. And for more detailed explanation on any of this, please refer to the SketchUp white paper that's also on our website. Um, so this is what was referred to as thin walled modeling. Very simple, but um, we had a lot of requests that people wanted to be able to use this thick walled type of modeling. Um, reason being, um, even firms I've worked at, you're importing something like a DWG and you're going to start with this as your base. So what's happening is a lot of the times you're extruding your geometry completely up from here and you end up with what's called the thick wall effect. And this does have some thickness to it. And since SketchUp is a little different from some of the other software like Revit and it doesn't know what a room is. It's just simply looking for volumes inside of spaces. So with this type of thick wall, we were having, um, obviously there's issues with volumes being in those spaces. So during this latest release, we've come up with a way to deal with this and through the thick wall creation. So you can either do this by yourself, you can create a thick walled model, or you can go in um, and you can actually use a tool that we've created here that will help you even if you're designing. This isn't just going to help you with um, your building performance analysis, but it's going to help you with very create quick creation of geometry inside of SketchUp. So first I'm going to highlight my floor plan and I'll just make sure to deselect anything else that I've selected over here. Um, and then I'm going to go up to this button here and this is the build a story button and I'm going to bring this up. And what this is showing me is what's going to be the height of my story. So that's the internal floor to ceiling height. Is there going to be a ceiling or slab depth above that? If you had multiple stories, this would build up as your um, ceiling and floors between or as your roof above your building. And then how many stories do we want to create out of this floor plan? So I'm just going to hit go here. And what this is doing is it's taking that geometry and building it based on the parameters we set. The other benefit to this is this is a very well-built model for analysis. So when you export it in to the virtual environment or use it for the toolkits, um, rather than if you had built this from scratch, it's more likely that this model is error-free and is going to help you in a quick um, and easy translation with very few errors.